what's up long time no see welcome to a new video on this channel uh, in this one i'm doing outfits that i've been wearing and then that i will be wearing during the fall and the winter of this year which is 2023 so if you like the video please consider subscribing liking and stuff like that and i hope you enjoy it first we're gonna go over the pieces themselves the tops mainly the jackets the coats and stuff like that then we're gonna go over the rest of the pieces the the pants and the the shirts and the hoodies and in the end i'll show off all of the fits so i hope you enjoy and let's get going The first piece we have here on this side is um, my favorite denim jacket that I recently got. I don't know what brand it is from. It's it's all scratched up and it doesn't show, but it's really high quality. It goes well with everything and the fit is perfect. It's really nice. I really like this jacket. I've been wearing it a lot with uh, denim on denim, which you'll see probably later. Yeah, this is one of my favorite pieces that I've, that I've thrifted recently and it's amazing. Not so much for the winter as much as it is for fall because it's not that thick but still it's a really nice piece next up we have a classic lazar jacket which is a black bomber i have like three of these i have a green one a black one and another black one with embroidery and this is my one of my all-time favorite winter jackets of all time uh, because it goes with so much stuff it goes with so many outfits so many pants so many shoes it's such a versatile jacket and it's really warm so it's an amazing jacket next up we have a fall essential which is a brown leather jacket i again i don't know the name of the brand this this is from i thrifted it uh, it has this interesting map in on the inside and yeah it's really nice really easy to style the fit is amazing i love the way it fits me it's great for the fall, not so much for the winter because it's not that thick, but another great piece. Next up, we have another fall classic, which is a trenchy, trench coat. I recently got this, didn't get to wear it as much because it has been really cold here. I think, in my opinion, these are pretty hard to style, but I'll try to because it fits me amazingly, as you'll see, and I love the color and the way it looks on me. And last but not least, we have my Valentino winter coat, which has been in my rotation for like two years now, but I am selling it. So you can go over to my uh, Instagram page, Deal Vintage, and cop it if you like it. It's a 100% uh, wool cashmere coat. It's really f heavy, it's like two kilograms. It's really, really warm in the winter, especially. After that, let me go over some of the other pieces that I have. Uh, this is a cropped polo shirt that I cropped myself. Uh, I love the way it fits. I love the way it works with other pieces in the outfit. If you follow me on TikTok, you probably saw this sweater already, but it's really nice. I thrifted it uh, at the end of last winter, so I didn't have many chances to wear it, but I am looking forward to this winter to wearing the shit out of this because it's been really popular. It's really nice. It works really well with especially the leather jacket. It works really well with many outfits and yeah. I love this piece. This is another piece that I've had in my collection for like two years now. And if you follow me on TikTok, you saw it multiple times. It's uh, just a normal sweater that my parents got me. And I really like it. It works great with the fits. It crops itself great because it's tight at the bottom. If you watched my videos, you've definitely seen this one. It's a Carl Cunny ultra faded, ultra distressed hoodie that I got from the farmer's market. I think that's what it's called in English. But I added some uh, jewelry on top, which makes it really pop. And the jewelry itself was inspired by, by the Balenciaga. They have a shirt like this. And I really like how it turned out. It really amplifies the, the effect and the way it looks itself. So now after we've been introduced to all of the pieces, uh, let's go over all the fits. And uh, yeah, I hope you enjoy and I hope you like them. So in the first outfit, I'm wearing my Levi's 501 jeans, uh, the black ones. And these are one of my most worn jeans that I have, especially during the colder months of the year. Uh, on top of that, we have a white, a basic white shirt that I forgot to iron. So I'm sorry that you have to look at that. On the bottom, just so it doesn't take away from the outfit itself, 
we have Doc Martens. And for the first fit, I'm just putting on the denim jacket on top of all of that. And yeah, I love the way these pieces work together. I love the way that the pants and the jacket contrast each other. And yeah, as I was saying, the fit of the jacket is amazing. I love the way it crops me. And that's the first fit. Next up, I'm switching the jacket out for the brown leather jacket. And once again, the fit of the jacket is really nice. It's a bit less cropped than the denim one, but still, I, I love the way it looks on me. And I love the way that it works with uh, the, the other pieces in the fit. Over that, I'm just adding a fisherman's hat. And yeah, I think it completes the look. Uh, for the next fit, I'm switching out the leather jacket for this um, trench coat, which I love the fit of, but it's very thin, so you can't really wear it on the colder months, just the beginning of the fall. But aside from that, I really love the way it fits. Uh, I love the length of it, and I love the way it works with the black pants. So next up, I'm changing the pants for these fake Levi's that I thrifted. I still thrifted them because I love the way they fit on me and I love the wash. First, over that, I'm adding the polo shirt and the way the brown and the, and the blue in the pants works is really, really nice. I really like it. But doubling down on the denim, I'm adding the denim jacket on top of that. And I really like the way that um, the brown of the shirt divides the top from the bottom and divides the two sides of the jacket. And yeah, I love, I love the way this outfit looks. It really gives the lumberjack vibes. Next up, I'm changing the shirt for this sweater that I got. And you've probably seen it on my YouTube if you watched me before. But I love the way that it's a bit loose in the, in the sleeves. But what annoys me a bit is that it's a bit too long, so I have to like fold it onto itself. Over that, I'm adding the fisherman's hat, and over that, I'm adding the the wool coat, uh, which is very warm, and I really like wearing it when it's snow outside because it keeps me warm, and it's really thick, it's really heavy, and yeah, I love this coat. As I said, I've had it for like two years now, but I'm planning on selling it and getting a longer one or some other type of winter accessory. Uh, next up, I'm just switching out the coat for the leather jacket. I've worn this outfit uh, a couple of times before and I love the way it works. I love the way the greenish gray of the sweater works with the brown of the jacket and the, the, the denim as well. And yeah, it, this is a, <laughs> as I said in my previous videos, this is a very me outfit. So next up, I'm switching out the sweater for the hoodie. And over the hoodie, I'm putting on the, the bomber jacket, which again, this is a very me outfit. This is something I wear on a daily. And I love the way the, the jacket just lets the hoodie peak a bit without it being oversaturated by the hoodie because the font on the hoodie is very, very bright and very noticeable. So I love that and I love the little details. Since the hoodie is permitting me from wearing uh, necklaces, I think these little details on the on the hood itself really make up for it. So I've seen on Instagram that Viva La Kevs did a photo shoot with the, the bomber jacket backwards like this. And even though I knew you could wear it like that, I never did. And I was uh, thinking I could try it. So I don't know, let me know if you think it works in this outfit or not. I really like how it contrasts the blue of the pants. But again, I, I'm not quite sure yet. Next up, I'm just switching the jacket for the denim jacket, which once again, I love the way it sandwiches the, the hoodie so it's not overpowering the rest of the fit. It's just there. And I love the way, once again, the denim on denim looks. So for this last part of the video, I'm switching out shoes to my uh, Dunk High greens. And I'm putting on the, the bomber jacket once again, just to see how it looks with, uh, with Dunks. And I really like how it looks here. 
as the there's no hoodie like in the previous one to block it so there's only the the white shirt and the blue pants so i love the contrast between those two maybe some different shoes would work better but i really like it with these ones as well so i'll definitely do a, either a a fit with these or a photo shoot So, thank you so much for watching this video, I hope you enjoyed it and I hope to be able to make more videos in the future more often than I was before. So it would really mean a lot to me if you subscribed and liked and commented, even if it's a negative comment it still helps out, it still works with the algorithm. So yeah, thank you for watching and I'll see you in the next video whenever that is.